Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I've made this little sentiment for a positive inspiration. We could all use a little, right? To get started, I'm going to use a variety of handwritten words and I like to try and place them in random yet strategic patterns, so to say. I don't guess it really qualifies as a pattern, but I typically will kind of jot out a rough draft of what I'd like to do, how I'd like to place the letters. I like to look at what words I'm going to emphasize and then just kind of plot out my plan and see if it works. So on this in, part in this particular um, drawing, I'm going to write the sentiment, do what's right, not what's easy. I think it's nice to have positive sentiments um, like that, not only to take the time to draw it and think about it, um, but just have them when they're done and have them lying around the house. I have two daughters and sometimes they definitely need to be reminded that doing the right thing isn't always easy and it's just a nice, it's just a nice way of encouraging them and just giving them a, a physical reminder and as well as myself. So here you'll see that I've turned some of my words sideways and I'm using a variety of different hand lettering styles or fonts, if you will. Um, I like to mix between print and cursive. Um, I think that looks nice and it, it definitely adds interest to the piece. So here I'm going to finish up by writing easy. And it's basic and simple. But once you add ink to it and just a little variety of embellishments, as much or as little as you'd like, it really does become an interesting piece. So here I'm inking out my letters and I think I'm using a 0.2 millimeter um, ink pen. And it's just one that I've picked up from Hobby Lobby. I like the fine tip Sharpie just as well, but this is just one I happen to have right on hand. So I'm just roughly tracing over my pencil lines. And when I'm done with the ink, I'll give it a second to dry just so I don't smudge it. Although this ink does dry pretty permanent pretty quickly. Um, Anyhow, and then I'll erase those pencil lines that I didn't quite make with the ink. So you can see I added a few little loops on the end of my letters just to add some interest. And now I'm going to go through and thicken my lines. So as you can see, this thickened up nicely and they look nice and crisp. I don't think it's bad. I think it's something that I would like to hang on my refrigerator. First, I'm going to go ahead and add some patterns to those open block areas that I have in the printed letters that I wrote. And I like to leave some open blocks like this or sometimes when I'm tracing over my script even, I will leave some open areas so that I can add patterns in there. I did a lot of watching videos about Zentangles and was really inspired and now I almost can't get away from it. So here it's simple patterns, but they really add a lot of interest to the piece once you ink them, as you can see. I did some triangles, some grids, and some squiggles, and polka dots. I think it looks cute. What do you think? I'd love to hear your comments. Thanks for watching.